Yo, what's going on, guys? Shake it big back, and yes, still trying to get a flashback player in draft champions. Yes, I've yet to see one, man. I've done a bunch of drafts, and a lot of people have been tweeting me all their, you know, flashback players. They're getting in them, and I'm like, eh, not happening for me. So today we're trying to finally come out here and get a flashback. I'm gonna go with, hmm, let's go with Jack Del Rio, man. Raiders look like they got some good stuff going on over there. Amari Cooper looked great on Sunday Night Football a, a few nights ago, but. Let's get it popping. Let's see if we can get a flashback. Not in the first round, but uh, we got some pretty solid options here. Jimmy Graham, Mike Evans, and Travis Frederick. Ah, this is a tough one, man. Mike Evans is an absolute monster. So is Jimmy Graham, though. I feel like we get a lot of tight ends and receivers, but you know what? We got to take one of them, and I'm going to go with Jimmy Graham. I am. I don't use him too much in uh, draft champs, and I like to mix it up at every now and then, you know, pick some different players, and, uh, and yeah, we'll go with Brandon Albert as well in the next round. Solid line players. We got to stack the line. It's always good to get some good players there. Russell Wilson we used recently, and we got a championship with him. So I don't really want to use him again, even though he was really, really good during that. So let's pick Jordy Nelson right here. Another elite player at receiver. Good to grab another receiver, man. All right, this is a tough one. Round four. This round doesn't look too hot. Cam Jordan definitely looks like the better pick here. Either him or Robert Matthews. Robert Matthews is a little too slow for me. He's pretty much not playing linebacker at that point pretty much playing on the D-line, so yeah, let's take Cam Jordan right there, 81 overall, not the best, not the worst round, we need a flashback, come on man, Jonathan Hankins, Delma, okay, we'll take Hankins, Hankins is a solid, solid interior lineman, let's go man, we need a flashback though, this is, this is crazy though, I feel like we're not even getting very good teams either, we're getting like a lot of pretty weak teams, we're gonna take Patrick Chung right here, 83 overall, strong safety, solid play, had a great year last year, and right there we get some more elites, no flashbacks though, ah, where they at? take Skandrick actually uh, we need to get some corners we don't have any yet so far we got a plenty of guys on the line so yeah we'll go with him there and now again we're gonna take ah uh, I want to take Tillman but his stats are looking kind of rough so this is a tough one Tillman actually looked really uh really good in the preseason yeah we're actually gonna take Tillman why not double up on corners got two at least decent corners out there that'll be nice and right here this is a tough one man we get Sean Lee, who's a great linebacker, or we could go for Devin McCourty. I'm going to go for McCourty, an elite player. I think he'll make more of an impact at safety, and uh, ah, I saw the red. That maybe we'd be getting someone, and uh, instead we will be taking a defensive tackle again, Aaron Donald. Our, our defense looks really nice right now. It went from uh, not that great to looking pretty solid really quickly. Now we need to get some linebackers here. Let's see which one of them has better speed. I'm going to go with Melvin Ingram. I think uh, maybe we'll take some guys who are a little bit quicker on the uh, outside. But, uh, oh, man, still no elite. I mean, we're getting elites, but still no flashbacks. Ah, right here, Junior Gallette might be the pick. He might be the way to go. I mean, we do have Julius Thomas, but we already have Jimmy Graham. Glover Quinn is solid, but we already have Devin McCourty. So, yeah, Junior Gallette right here, surprisingly, going with someone who I, I don't think I've ever drafted in draft champs. Come on, man, we needed a flashback. Where... Where they at, though? Like, we've done so many drafts and have still yet to see one. We don't even have a quarterback, Matt Castle, but I feel like he's just as good as uh, as Alex Smith, man. Like, I really don't see the difference between the two of them. Then we look at the defensive side. We could take another linebacker, or we could take a right end right here, and I think it's obvious we want to take a linebacker. We'll just have to throw him a middle linebacker. It'll be all good to go, but two, la two rounds left, man. Where are the flashbacks? There they are! Flashback CJ! Perfect, man. Thank you. We finally get a flashback player. Round 14 out of 15. That looks clutch, man. We're definitely going with CJ here, right? I mean, that seems too obvious. CJ 2K, a prime version of him. Oh, my goodness. We got to pick him up. Let's go with CJ 2K. And our last round, we're going to get a legend. Hopefully, it's QB, man. Ah, no QBs. So, we are QB-less in this one. But uh, we can stack up at a, a key position if we really wanted to. We can go Derek Brooks or... Dermidi Dawson. Man. I think we're going to stack up on our offensive line because, to be honest, I'm looking at it now and I'm a little worried. It looks pretty weak. Might be a little tough for us to run. We're going to have to run to the outside and to the left, I assume, a lot. But, hey, we'll stock up on the offensive line, I guess. First time we picked a legendary offensive lineman. We do finish out with 81 overall. Not that bad. And uh, it looks like we've got some uh, decent guys. I mean, we did get our flashback finally, which was nice. And, of course, it's a guy I really love. Chris Johnson, man. This is a guy I can immediately make an impact with in the game absolutely nasty speed oh my goodness this is gonna be fun to use him but yeah this looks like a pretty solid defense i'm uh, actually excited i mean it's nothing crazy but we finally got a flashback player man matt castle is gonna have to put in work for us the silver qbs 
Sometimes you can really rock it with them. Other times it's like, eh. Brandon Whedon, I tried him out once before. He was trash. He was so bad. So it's going to have to be Matt Castle, man. Brandon Whedon is awful. He's not even going to be on this team. Colt McCoy is my backup for sure. Whedon was terrible when I used him. So Matt Castle and CJ are going to have to roll us to victory. But uh, yeah, let's get into a game. We take a look at his lineup. He's got Christian Okoye. And he's also got Des Bryant. Some solid elite players. Okay. First play, we tried a screen. That didn't work very well. It literally didn't work at all. So let's see what we can do on this next play right here. Um, we can't throw to that player. We can throw to CJ in the flat. There we go. Chris Johnson cut up the field. Oh, why did I? Oh, I was trying to just cut up and stay up the field, man. We would have been good money if we could have kept running there. But CJ gets the reception. Gets us our first first down of the day. All right, we are going to send some guys on some custom routes here. Here we go. Matthew Slater, baby. Go over the top and get it. Oh, Matthew Slater. Did he drop that? He did. Dang. He had it in his hands. He just dropped it. He was burning whoever he was supposed to be covering. It was his own, but he just destroyed him. All right, we got to get a first here. Third and eight. Third and eight. Ooh, let's find CJ. Spin move. Oh, I need Chris Johnson to pick that up right there. We're going to go for it. We are savages. We are really just trying to use these new players, trying to get something going. So, yeah, we're going for it here. We are. And uh, let's put Matthew Slater on a drag route. Let's try and pick up this first, man. We got to be able to pick up this first. Oh, get rid of it. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Matt Castle throws so slow. How is he not going to get rid of it there? He brought a good blitz, and I thought I was going to get rid of it in time. I definitely had guys open. This guy has some big wide receivers. I just saw Alshon Jeffrey. I think that's AJ Green, too. I'm going to go free. I'm going to sack him. Get him, baby. Let's go. Melvin Ingram comes right off the line, and he's got, I think, 85 speed now that we put him at right end. And Wow, or left end, actually, and he's got some fire he brought the heat on that blitz oh my goodness play some zone coverage a little bit maybe get a stop here i'm not really too sure we're just trying to do something because uh right now this is pretty much going to end the quarter and he's going to go to the wide open receiver on what looks like a fade wow all right we're going to try a play action here he's got a lot of guys in the box if we can hit him oh my goodness just get rid of it jordy's so open Yo! Oh my god, Matt Castle. You are killing me. Like, I don't even understand this. He is literally wide open. He just burnt his guy. And that's gonna happen, man. He's sending these nano all-out blitzes. And I can't get rid of the ball in time. This is so frustrating. Matt Castle not getting the job done right there. We needed you to make a decent pass. Get it to my wide out with uh, plenty of time, man. Here you go. Nice pass to the down low guy, Chris Johnson. Hit him with a spin. Oh, hit him with another juke. Keep going, CJ. CJ, keep running. What a nice little run, man. Great job. Run after catch was beautiful there. Had so many good opportunities at this point to make great plays, but just have not made them. Guys have dropped balls. Might want to look for Jimmy Graham here, but every time I've done this, he's dropping guys back into that zone. And see, look, there's three guys that I'm throwing to there. Here we go. Let's find our man Jordy. Or Yeah, that is Jordy Nelson. I don't know why I said or. That's definitely Jordy Nelson. And that brings us with a fourth and three, and we're going to just take our points, man. Ugh. Kind of in dire need situation. I'm pretty sure we need to uh, get a stop and get the ball back because I think he gets the ball after half. I mean, obviously, we don't. Like, it, it's, it's cool if we don't, but, I mean, we need to get something done. Melvin Ingram again coming with the pressure. Oh, my God. Who drops that pick? Who is that? Man, Patrick Chung. Who, whose man is Patrick Chung? He needs to go, man. What is this? Patrick Chung drops the wide open pick, man. That was the stop we needed. I'm going to play on the line with Melvin Ingram or uh, whoever this is because he is a fucking monster. Look at this guy. Look at him. Here you go. Oh, swat that down. Let's go. Man, Melvin Ingram is getting off the line so nicely. It's got to be him. Pretty frustrating. My opponent has beat us just by solely using the stupid aggressive catch, and that's all he's done. And because of that, he has uh, come away with a pretty nice win. Nice job! Let's go, McCordy! Oh, baby! Let's go! Let's bring this back! Let's get it! Nice job! No points for you, as we finally are able to tip the ball out of someone's hand. And uh, the tip throw was on, and Devin McCordy made a play. Let's go! We're going to try and play some uh, two-man cover, but I don't know, man. This is just looking rough right now. We just haven't been able to uh, do anything really too favorable right now, as we... Stop him after a little bit of a gain, three yards, but we've held him on the run plays. We just got to keep playing some, uh, hopefully, great defense on the line and keep getting some good pressure because if we can do that, we can hopefully... Ah, we didn't do it that time, but Wesley Wizard bats it down. Nice. Wesley doing a good job. 
Come on, let's get some good pressure here. Third and 11. He's making some audibles. I need a stop. I really do. Oh, Melvin Ingram's coming. Oh, baby, pick it off, McCourty. Let's go. The combo of them two is too good, man. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely love that. All right, let's get it going on offense, man. We need to get to the outside. Chris Johnson needs to be Chris Johnson, baby. Oh, he's quick. Oh, he's quick. Oh, I, I should have just kept running, man. Why do I keep Why do I keep doing these juke moves, man? I keep doing them. I got to chill with those. Nickel defense is in. I'm expecting him not to snap it here. I mean, he really doesn't have to, and he's trying to run the clock. So, uh, wow, he will snap it, though. I'm going to try and get some pressure. Oh, we got to him. Another sack. Let's go, man. Hankins gets there. Our defensive line is cooking right now. I kind of hope he is. Oh, baby. Here we go. He's going for it right here. I'm going to let Ingram just go to town. Let's give him a little bit of space. Play the line. Play over the top. Where is he going? Where is he going? I got him covered. Come on, make the tackle. No! Oh, my God, man. How do you let him beat you so badly? That guy wasn't even supposed to run that way. What? Oh. On a third and eight, I've got timeout saved. So, no matter what he does here, we can stop the clock. And as long as we get this stop right here, the game is not over. One more stop, man. Two more stops, technically. Because this guy's one of them dudes. He's probably going to go for it. I'm going to try and get that pressure again with Ingram. I feel like that was working so well earlier. This time, no pressure. No pressure. McCordy's going to come down with it. What a pick. What a freaking interception. He's flipping over the defender. McCordy's got three on the day, man. We got to come out here and get this win. We got to come out here and get this win, baby. Man, what a play. And look at this. He's just stacking the box. And we just can't get the ball away in time. Here we go, Jimmy Graham. That's you. That's you, baby. Oh, I need a block. Why? Oh, my goodness. We could have took that one all the way, man. We were so close. He's literally baiting us into throwing the ball because Matt Castle is not getting it done. We're hitting receivers. They're dropping it so many times. His corner has have made great plays in the ball. Now he's going to come out in a different formation right here, a, a wide nine maybe or something. I don't know. This looks very wide, though. Everyone is split up. Here we go. Find CJ. Look at this, baby. Oh, CJ. CJ. Let's go. Oh, Chris Johnson. Let's see you later. Oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, that voice crack was nice, but that was a nasty play by Chris Johnson, man. Juking out defenders out of their shoes. Oh, my goodness. Let's continue to play D, man. Let's hold him. Do not give him anything over the top. That is my goal here. I hope he throws the screen to me on this side, but I don't think he's going to. He just called an audible, so that's definitely not what he's doing. He's going to find a guy over the middle, and oh, Walter Thurman. All you got to do is catch that. It's bobbling around in your hands. Son. Oh, my God. We're dropped back into this cover four, and what? That's not what I chose. I chose a cover four. Dang, what happened? I had chose a cover four, and it came out in a cover three. Or a man to man. Look, I need to get some pressure. This could be the game if you sack him. That's the game, baby. He's going down. Let's go. Cam Jordan gets a sack. I think that's our fifth sack of the day, man. Matthew Stafford goes down, and I think he about the rage quit. Wow, what a win. Oh my god, there he goes. Let's get it. Chris Johnson was huge in this one, man. He absolutely killed it. He balled out, and we just stole a win. Absolute thievery. Wow, that was a hell of a game, man. That was nice, man.